rice My family's actually been farming um, since the 40s here in San Luis Obispo County. Uh, started with my great grandfather. He farmed peas in Oceano. Uh, my grandfather and his two brothers started our company, Iketa Brothers, um, doing vegetable farming in Oceano. Uh, they then expanded to Roy Grandi with the next generation, which is my dad and, and his brothers and cousins. And then now I'm, I guess I'm the fourth generation vegetable farmer here in San Luis County. Not many new farmers get into the business. Instead, just like Iketa, they are following in their family's footsteps. But while farming may be in their blood, many understand the importance of learning about advances in growing practices before heading back into the field. Chris Romeo also has plans to join the family business, but after a formal education. I work for my dad, my brother, my uncle, family business like that. So it's always been growing up, working for the family business, um, starting from the bottom, always and kind of learning from there, just learning as as I'm working kind of thing, kind of being pushed into things before you know the, um, you know, the theory behind it. As to the future of the business, young people say they are cautiously optimistic. I'm excited about the future of ag. Um, nervous just like everybody else. There's, you know, there's regulations and things like that that, you know, you're worried about. I've also heard some things that, you know, the average age of the farmer is like 53 or something like that. So there's just not a lot of young people coming back into farming. So that makes me a little nervous. Um, but I'm happy to be back in it. Both Romeo and Aketa think the bigger problem is attracting new people into the field of agriculture. I'm with the, the set here. This week we're featuring three different sizes of a fairly rare fruit. California grows more than 98% of the nation's persimmons. They first arrived in California in the late 1800s. The most popular variety of fuyu can be eaten just like an apple. One layer carton of 15s are selling for $13 to $16 on moderate trading. That's down about $3 from a week ago. The same size carton of 18s are also selling for $13 to $16. That's down about $2 from last week. But movement is expected to increase during the coming weeks. While the two smaller sizes are down on the week, the largest persimmons are holding steady in price. This week, they're trading at $12 to $14 a carton. I'm Richard Gearhart reporting.